Uh, you know when a song gets stuck in your head, and, and particularly when it's a song you hate, it's even worse. Like, like Justin Timberlake comes on the radio and it's like, I'm going to spend the day with you? That, that's, tri that's terrific, thanks. <laughs> I was listening to NPR and, you know, they, they were spouting off a lot of statistics and facts, and this rarely happens to me, I'm not a very hot memory. <laughs> but I was, I was remembering everything that they were saying for some reason, and I felt it sort of Throbbing. I could feel the place in my mind that it went to, like it's writing on the hard drive. And I'm like, N I need that space for something. I don't want it. I didn't care. But it was... um, so this is written to the obtrusive fact. Um, it's called uh, Mnemonic Influence. And I'll end with this. Milt Jackson, the fact that you play vibes on Miles Davis' quintet sextet record enters my brain lengthwise like some knife slicing the heart of hot bread. Divides what I take to be my cerebral cortex from the other half, whatever title that has, and lies there innocent as a grain of sand caught in a clam. Not that it was, to begin, the best border I've had, crashing across the radio waves, a refrigerator door broken off and tossing on the shore of the quiet seaside resort I had before, all to myself and a few hand-chosen friends announcing, I'm Mill Jackson. I play vibes with Miles. <laughs> Years down the road and miles before, I find you lounging about, overfed house cat amounting to a fat throw pillow, and wonder, why are you still here, stretched out along the back of my couch or lying the length of the floor? There are late etudes to order, oeuvres to explore, generals to number, literature. What room have I got for a guest? And yet, there you rest, grin wide as a watermelon, while other better facts and days and faces fall yearly and by slow degrees to the beach sand below, like shiny black seeds. <laughs>